Over 40 years ago, Rab Carrington started making down products at home in Sheffield. So he was making down jackets, sleeping bags, and everyone would go, Rab, make us one of your jackets. And Rab became a brand. So they know a thing or two about making down jackets. Over the last 40 years, the ethos is still the same. Really good quality stuff that really does a great job for the mountains. The Mythic G is the latest iteration. So first thing you need to know about this Mythic G jacket is it's a medium. I would definitely be a large at six foot four. So the Mythic G is Rab's most impressive warmth to weight ratio jacket. So I'm not saying it's the warmest jacket in the range, but in terms of what you get for the weight, it is incredible. It weighs merely 277 grams, and that's in the medium, and it'll pack down super small. You can clip it to your harness, take it away with you, you hardly know it's there, but it offers so much warmth for that weight. How does it achieve that amount of warmth for the weight? So, amazingly, they use a thousand fill power down, and that's 127 grams of it. Now, please don't be confused by fill power versus warmth. The fill power is how much power it has to fill the void. A big fat 600 fill jacket would still be warmer than this 1000 fill jacket because this is light. It just allows it to pack smaller and disappear into your bag easier. 1000 fill power is about as high as it ever gets. I've never heard of higher. I don't even know if you can get higher than that. So it's real premium stuff. But Rav have also done some amazing things with the jacket to really excel and accentuate what that fill power can do. So the face fabric is really thin. It's a seven denier Atmos face fabric, so really, really thin. But, you know, it will stand to a bit. Obviously, you don't go scraping through brambles in it. That's not what it's for, but it is pretty robust in terms of abrasion. In terms of feature set, I've not got a lot to show you. They have stripped everything back to make it as light as they possibly can. Now, that's great. I think that's the way it should be. It makes it pack even better because there's no zips and stuff to get in the way. It has got hand pockets, obviously, but the cuffs, bottom, top, round the hood, they're all soft, non-adjustable, just so that it can really squish away as small as it can. Even though it's saving weight, Rab has still put a pull cut on the waist, which I think is really important. A lot of people take this off the hem, and then you sometimes just get gusts blowing up. That is something that I think it's worth having the weight penalty for. Right, the fun bit, the lining. So I actually think this jacket would look way more fun if you turn it inside out. Silver inside, now that's for a reason. This lining is called Tilt. They've used that on quite a few other jackets in the Mythic range. We do the Mythic Ultra and things like that, and they're amazing, but none have been used with a thousand fill power before. So Tilt stands for Thermo-Ionic Lining Technology. What that basically means is it's sort of a thin layer of metal, if you will, <laughs> and it reflects your heat. So as soon as you put it on, you can sort of trap more hot air in. This apparently retains around 30% more radiant heat than if it was just a normal lining with absolutely no extra weight. That's a pretty amazing bit of technology. 30% a lot, obviously, in terms of these sort of marginal gains. And I would say you can sort of notice it pretty quickly. A lot of down jackets you put on, you've got to take a long time to warm the sort of air up that's hugging you. Whereas this, you put it on and go, warm already, and then it gets warmer and warmer as you fill the down up. So really good bit of kit. Looks pretty cool as well for discos and things, you know. Now, Rab haven't just left it at that. It's sort of body mapped as well, so it's not as much under the arms and things like that. So if you're working really hard in it, which I wouldn't particularly recommend in a down jacket, but these things happen, then you're not going to get as sweat under there as you might do if it was tilt lined everywhere. So it's really clever, amazing piece of kit. Something that I think is worth mentioning is that I don't think this is built as a belay jacket. Obviously, as a climber in a climbing shop, we always look at belay jackets. So what I mean by not being a belay jacket is it's not got a super burly face fabric. You're not going to be stood there with your harness on. It's not a two-way zip and it's not even a helmet hood. I imagine you get to the hut at the end of an alpine adventure or in Will's case this summer in the Dolomites, he was doing a big alpine route in the Dolomites and uh, got to a ledge and they got caught out and divvied out and he slept in this, that's all he had and he said it made a whopping difference to his night. So this is not your everything Jackie, you're not going to walk around in the peak strip in the rain in this, but if you just think I want some warmth, I hate extra weight, Mythic G will do that better than anything. Clip it to your harness, shove it in your running sack, put it in your rucksack if you're just going out for walking, just in case, pack's really small, it's really warm. Pretty damn amazing.